Primer is pretty much the same for both sides of my face and I'm taking two different primers. The first one is the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer and I'm just going to apply that onto my nose and places that I need to have the pores filled in. And because I do have very dry skin, I'm also taking the Smashbox Hydrating Primer and just applying that mainly onto my cheeks but also all around my face as well. For my foundation, I'm taking the Urban Decay Naked Skin Foundation in 0.5 and I'm just applying that all over to my face but for the Instagram side, I'm taking a second layer just so it's a bit more full coverage as well. And I'm just going to take a buffing brush first to blend that in and then a damp Chi Chi sponge to make sure that there's no brush strokes or anything. And now I'm just taking a second layer for the Instagram side and blending that in with my sponge. Before I move on to the rest of my face, I'm just going to zoom in and do my eyebrows. For the natural side, I'm taking the Essence Brow Kit in brown, I believe, and I'm just going to mix the darker colour with the lighter colour to make it look filled in but not too dramatic like the other side would be. I'm mainly going to be filling in this side to just fill in sparse areas or areas that are just really pale um, that the foundation might have covered but on the other side I'll be doing a bit more as well. So to set that brow in place I'm taking the L'Oreal Brow, brow Artist Plumper in brown I believe. This will also brush them through so if there is any spots that do need to be covered up I can do that after I do this. And for the other side, I'm taking the Chi Chi Dark Brown Brow Pomade and I'm just going to fill in my brow but also arch it a little bit more and just recreate the shape a little bit. To set the brow in place, I'm taking the L'Oreal Brow Artist Plumper again and just doing the same thing. So just brushing through the hairs. So for the concealer, I'm taking the Maybelline Master Conceal in 10 Fair and I'm just going to place a little dot on my finger and create a triangle underneath my eye. So this is going to conceal and highlight at the same time. And I'm also going to be taking a tiny little bit to use as an eyeshadow base as well. To blend that in, I'm taking the Chi Chi sponge again. And because I have a lot of darkness under my eye, I'm taking the L'Oreal True Match Concealer in 2 Vanilla. I'm just going to place that right in the inner part of my eye. And for the other side, I'm taking this concealer as well and just doing a tiny little bit. I'm not wanting to highlight too much, it's more just conceal the like darkness underneath my eye and just in this inner part of my eyelid because it always gets really dark and grey. For the Instagram side, I've taken a little dot of the Maybelline Master Concealer on the back of my hand and I'm just going to apply a tiny little bit on the bridge of my nose on the Instagram side. Just a little bit up on my forehead as well, a little bit on my chin and I'm also going to carve out my eyebrow. For powder, I'm just taking the Savvy Loose Translucent Powder and I'm just getting my damp Chi Chi sponge and I'm just going to bake underneath my eye and press some powder on my eyelid as well. So I'm going to bake on my forehead, my chin and the side of my nose. And for the other side, I'm just taking a little bit of powder and just setting it. I've just grabbed a little bit more powder on the brush but I'm also going to wipe away that bait and just set the rest of my face. Taking a little bit of translucent powder and just packing that on the first part 
just so it's a little bit lighter and not so blocky. If you do that step and you find that it looks like it has a little bit of a white cast or a little bit grey, you can always take a coloured brow gel, just like the L'Oreal one, and just brush a tiny little bit through. And I'm just taking a little bit of banana powder and just pressing that under the eyes so it doesn't look as dark. I find my dark under eyes really hard to cover up so sometimes I do have to do a couple more steps but I don't usually mind because I'd rather do a few more steps than have really dark under eyes. For the natural side I'm just taking the Hula bronzer and I'm not actually going to contour on the natural side. I'm just going to bronze a little bit and just warm up the face. The side of my face, I mean. So silly sometimes. I'm taking the little brush that comes in the Hula bronzer and I'm just going to use that to contour the glam side of my face. And then I'll be taking the Modelco Bronze Powder and just adding that to give it a little bit more depth. I'm just going to take that translucent powder again and I'm just going to bake underneath where I just bronzed. So for blusher I'm taking the Crop Natural Cosmetics Natural Mineral Pressed Blush in Bouquet and I'm just going to apply a little bit to my cheeks. And then for the natural side, I'm just going to be taking the three lighter colours, tapping that off and just applying a tiny little bit. For highlight, I'm taking the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Soft and Gentle and just highlighting the tops of my cheekbones, underneath my eyebrow, the tip of my nose, Cupid's bow and all of those places. And for the more natural side, I'm taking the Mary Luminizer and tapping it off just so I don't get too much product. And just slightly highlighting the top of my cheekbones. For eyeshadow on the more natural side, I'm just taking the Hula Bronzer on a little soft packed brush. And I'm just going to place that in the crease for a little bit of definition. And to soften it out a little bit, I'm just taking a bigger, more fluffy brush and just sweeping over that. For eyeshadow on the Instagram side, I'm taking the Kylie Bible palette and I'm just going to take a mixture of that matte shade and that one. And I'm just going to apply both of those into my crease. And I'm just going to be taking the darker purple shade on that side and just having the brush kind of like pressed up against it and then sweeping back and forth, if you can tell, and tapping off a little bit of the excess. And I'm just going to focus that mainly on the outer V. And I'm also going to mix a little bit of that grey kind of browny matte shade and just place that in the outer corner as well. And just taking that bigger brush again, and going back in with the three colours that I first used, which are those three there, and just applying them into the crease to deepen it and darken it up a little bit more. For a more intense brow bone highlight, I'm taking the really pale shimmery shade from the Kylie Bible palette and just placing that above where those transition colours are. And I'm also going to use that same shade on my inner corner. Taking that same brush, I'm taking all of the matte shades that I used and just smoking out my lower lash line and just taking more of the darker purple and smoking out the outer corner a little bit more. Next I'm taking this duochrome kind of gold and pink colour and just packing that onto my brush and spraying a little bit of Fix Plus onto it just so it's a little bit more intense and just placing that on the inner third of the eye. And for liquid liner I'm taking the Maybelline Hyperglossy liquid liner and I'm just going to create a wing. That's so long, I've never done a winged liner that's that long. Well, 
the falsies that I'm going to be taking are just the ones that I always use. This is them stacked. So that's two there. And I'm just going to be using the glue that I always use as well. And while I'm waiting for the lash glue to go a little bit tacky, I'm taking the Clinique High Impact Mascara. Just coating the lashes on the natural side. This literally always happens to me. I always get mascara everywhere. I'm just going to let that little mascara accident dry just so I don't smudge it and it'll just flake off if I use a little brush. But I'm just going to apply the falsies now. And then I'm just going to take a little bit of that Clinique mascara. To slightly overdraw my lips, I'm taking the Savvy Nourishing Lip Liner in Rose. I never actually line my lips at all. Um, I'm not sure why, but I've just never really gotten into it. So this is going to look really funny because one half will be slightly bigger than the other. So I'm taking the NYX Lip Lingerie in Baby Doll and we're just going to ignore my really terrible lip lining. And I think that it looks worse because half isn't lined. I'm going in with the Kylie Cosmetics lip gloss in So So Cute. I don't know why I can never say that. Just applying that to my lips. So that's all for today's video. I really hope you enjoyed watching. I really enjoyed creating this video as it's something a little bit different to what I usually post on my channel. And I would like to do more videos kind of like this. So if you do have any suggestions, feel free to leave it in the comments below. And don't forget to thumbs up my video if you want to, you don't have to. And I will see you next time. Bye guys.